Welcome back, everybody. Yesterday we had good air quality throughout a lot of the state. Today the air quality is starting to deteriorate. You can see that here from our sky cam in the capital. 74 degrees, though, didn't get it as warm as I suspected it would be uh, today. It did get as warm, though, up in Great Falls. We made it up into the 80s, but notice again some of that haze. Uh, is very, very evident here. Wildfire smoke coming back into the state after, again, a couple days of uh, some breaks here. Of course, a lot of Montana fires saw some rainfall, but the fires that did not see rain out in Washington and Oregon and British Columbia that have been producing smoke, that smoke is coming back towards the state. A little warmer the farther north you go here for the second straight day, mid 80s up along the high line. So that's right about where we should be for uh, this time of year. But there are the cooler numbers, southwestern Montana 60s and 70s because of this little storm that's uh, coming through, little area of low pressure. So over the last several days, the wind flow has been from the north and the northeast pushing a lot of this smoke from British Columbia, Washington, Oregon out into the Pacific. Well, it's going to curl around and then come back here into Montana as the wind flow changes back to the west, and that will drag some of that smoke back here into Montana. On the radar mentioned, the low pressure, you can kind of see the uh, curvature of low pressure here just off towards the southwest of the capital. Some showers maybe up there around uh, Basin over through Boulder could try to push up to the south hills of Helen out there around Travis Creek and Park Lake. Maybe a storm popping up over the Elkhorn Mountains, but most of this activity will stay to the south. By the way, that Goldstone fire, second biggest fire in the state, that's right there. That's seeing some good rain uh, in the area, so that's some good news. Here are all the fires. Speaking of good rain on a wildfire, the Shell Rock Fire, that's the one in between Great Falls and the Capitol, right there east of Holter Lake. That's received significant rainfall over the last couple of days. Same with uh, the Trail 467 Fire. Even the Brownstone Fire saw a good wetting rain from that uh, storm system that we saw just over the last couple of days. So what will happen this evening? Maybe a shower or a thunderstorm coming close to the Capitol. Most of the uh, thunderstorm activity will stay to the south though, around Bozeman, West Yellowstone. For tomorrow, the storm moves out towards the east and as it exits, it will create more of a vacuum, so to speak, as far as wind goes. And we'll see a lot of this west wind increase Thursday afternoon, maybe gusts 20, 25, even 30 miles per hour with temperatures in the 80s to right around 90, a high fire danger day for Thursday. And then into Friday, another cold front will come through and this will likely produce a couple of showers and thunderstorms near the capital. Great Falls out through Lewistown Friday afternoon into Friday evening. It will also Drag in some cooler air. Cooler air helps to lower the fire danger, at least somewhat. So for tomorrow, storms exiting southeastern Montana. Here we've got the temperatures going back to where they should be for this time of year into the 80s, even a few 90s out there. West winds pretty strong. Fire danger will be high. Please be careful tomorrow and that air quality likely will deteriorate even through Friday. Even though we have this cold front coming through, the wind still coming from the west. What's to the west? Washington, Oregon and British Columbia and all those wildfires there. So a few storms here on Friday. Saturday actually looks like a pretty nice day. The wind eases up temperatures back down into the 70s for most of the state here for afternoon highs and it'll be a little hazy, a little smoky on Saturday and then Sunday some thunderstorms will pop in the afternoon and the evening here in the western part of the state. Cooler weather and this is the beginning of the next storm cycle so to speak that will come through Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. High temperatures back down into the 60s. It looks like Monday could be at least another cloudy, cooler, wet day here. Case of the Mondays but actually a pretty nice Monday, uh, getting a little break from the fire danger. Same thing goes for Great Falls, some cooler, stormier, wetter weather, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then longer range. I can't believe it's Labor Day weekend already after this coming weekend. Looks like maybe another kind of stormier pattern coming through for that holiday weekend. You know what it feels like? It feels like Memorial. football weather. <laughs> <laughs> football weather, yep. That's right, and Carroll College opens their season tomorrow night, 